I watched uh, I watched this documentary on Netflix about Conor McGregor. Whoa! Check it out. Nice. It makes him so likable. I love him. Dude. I mean, obviously he's already the man, but I mean, when you see, it starts out with him and Diaz fight, mm-hmm. and then it, it just opens with that, and then it flashes, and it's like four years earlier. So just four years ago, he was like living in his parents' house. It's really? crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking nuts. He's like real poor. He was on welfare. And he was a fighter, too. Yeah. Which is hard. He lived at his parents' house with his girlfriend, and all he did was train every single day. Like, yeah. hard. Yeah, he's the man. That's addictive, man. When you start doing that stuff, yeah. it's like you get into it. And it's I did it for a little bit, and I was just like, I could see why people get obsessed with this. What did you train? Jiu-jitsu and uh, <laughs> MMA. Or what's it called? What's the, the boxing one? It's like boxing but kicking. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. I did Fuck boxing yeah, and dude. kicking. <laughs> yeah, I did jujitsu and boxing and kicking. How's your kicks? I was fucking good, man. You I'm telling you, I was, the it. guy wanted me. He was like, "You're a little bit old to like really fight," but he's like, "You could probably go to like tournaments and stuff." I was nasty. And you could beat up just strangers. I was, dude. I was I was vicious. I came in too hot though. He actually he knocked me down the one time. He TKO'd me. <laughs> liver, liver kick. <laughs> I was I went during, I was laid off, so I used to go during the day. And it was just me and him because he just opened his gym. So I had like full like sensei, like just me and this guy. And he was teaching me how to do this shit. And then like one time we were sparring and he was like, do you want me to like do it for real? And I was like, yeah, let me see what it's like. And dude, just fucked me up in six seconds. Just Ugh. threw a couple punches. I took a couple, caught him with a left hook. And he came with a, he kicked me with his left leg, liver shot, fucking hit the floor. I hit the floor instantly. I was like, all right, all right I'm, done, I'm done. Probably sounded like the grape lady. Just like, <laughs> 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 Yeah, the dudes who know how to do that, it's on another level, dude. That if someone is trained to fight, it's yeah. like, it doesn't matter. That's the one thing are. that makes me pretty pro guns. When people can do that kind of yeah. shit? Dude, it's deadly. Uh huh. It's absolutely dead. And like, you never know that whenever I did that, or since I did that, I don't even like try to pretend to know who I could beat up or not. Because like, you go to one of those classes, you're like, all right, I can kick that guy's ass, I can kick their ass. You just have no idea. Next thing you know, you're getting up. tapped out by a girl. Hey, man. Sometimes a girl will grab your wrist, hit you in a wrist lock. You don't know what's going on. You tap. Dude, I thought we were past that. Everyone stopped and was just like, yo, bro. Yeah. People you probably, looked at me. You probably sound like the grape lady while she was giving you I, the fucking... Dude, I, just, like, ow, ow, I just felt... Ow. Well, here's the thing. I was, it was like my second week. You're not supposed to submit. and you're, you're not supposed to put people in submissions the second week. She was a girl showing off. She saw someone, you know... She sees advantage of, you know, someone vulnerable. Which she used her girl brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the, she, like, but even still, the guy was like, hey, hey, you're not supposed to submit people in the second week. And then, like, he kind of looked at me like. You're in like, the wrong sensei, building, dude. Sensei, no. <laughs> I already told you. I fucked her up. The next time we did it, I fucked her up. What'd you do to her? I beat up a fucking girl. <laughs> What'd you do? We were just, we were going at it. And I just wasn't, because I was, like, kind of pulling punches and what, shit. What, you like, punching her? The next no, we were just jujitsu. Okay, so we were like wrestling around. I'm like just you know, I'm just like trying not to touch her tits the whole time. And then she snagged my wrist and bent it. That was the extent of our fight. Second fight, I tried to. She sensed to me too. Second fight, yeah, dude. And second fight, I was <laughs> I was fucking her up. She tapped and then you she out. went to get on her feet and from a kneeling position, I grabbed her ankles and just lifted her off the ground and dropped her. <laughs> she, she was like, uh. she literally grape lady down. She grape lady. She went, uh. And I was like, you okay? She's like, stop asking me if I'm okay. I'm fine. It's like, all right. We don't have ever have to wrestle again. You should have seen this dunk contest last night. Between a who? high school dunk contest. Girls dunk contest? There was a girl in it. Really? All she had to do was just one dunk. <laughs> she touched the backboard yeah, or she yeah, did yeah. a layup? Straight tens. <laughs> the other guy, Zion Williamson, we just watched. Yeah. He was throwing down dunks that are just out of this world. So why did they give her a 10? Was she in the girl dunk contest? No, she was a girl in the men's dunk contest. Was it one hand dunk or two hand? One handed. Yeah. She had a 10? Straight tens. That's sexism, dude. It was pure sexism. Ugh. I great. dude, I would have loved to have been watch. the judge who was just like four. If I went out there and did, despite my being five eleven and did a one handed dunk, I'd have gotten it like a two. Yeah, like yeah, get this guy the fuck out of here. He straight sucks. tens. But then the crowd knew like she dunked in the first round, got mm-hmm. a hundred, got a perfect score. And she tried to do the same dunk. And then the next round, she was like, "I'm going to go for it." Two handed dunk, couldn't land it, couldn't stick it. Would it was great. Nine? Would you get a nine? Yeah, pretty much. She advanced to the finals, not making a dunk. What? And then the best was the final round in the finals. She made the finals. And she did like this, like, still on the ground, like windmill. Like, while she was running, she picked <laughs> the ball up and did a windmill and then did a one-handed dunk. It was pretty great. And the Ten. crowd was just like, nah. She didn't get, they didn't give it to her? Nah, she didn't win. 
What did she what did she get on the on the ground windmill? On the ground windmill, she still got a good score. I think she finished second. What? Yeah. Next to the like elite Next high to the school. Best prospect. dunker probably ever <laughs> in high school. <laughs> it was like it was it was such a perfect fucking I mean, must we have example. This, must we have this tea party, dude, and yeah. all sit around our dolls and be like, Yeah, this is great. Awesome. There was a female announcer that yeah. for ESPN that was on the sidelines that was like, Come on, guys, everybody, get up, give her some energy. She's like, if she puts down a two handed dunk, I'm running out of this gym. And no Sexist, one gave a dude. fuck. Everyone else, it was just, it was a bunch of black people in Atlanta. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. I mean, <laughs> you, just like, you should right. let, if you're going to do that, if it's like, all right, look, if you're a girl or boy into the dunk contest, it's like, if you put down some weak ass bullshit dunk, it's like, four, thanks for your participation. <laughs> yeah. You can't be fucking doing this shit, like treating them like, like she's in her own bubble version of like the Special Olympics. It was. There was, yeah. well, there was a retarded judge. Really? Yeah. He probably saw right through this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Two. He probably hawked. <laughs> You probably Hawkins out, dude. <laughs> Everyone's on Hawkins' dick right now. Yo. <laughs> what you pulling up on? Uh, this guy on the main board just <laughs> fucking trashed me. Why? <laughs> comedy. It's really funny. What the fuck is this problem? Uh, I don't know. I'm dude, trying to give find me it. the fucking word, dude. It's really funny. He's if, like, dude, I'll fucking tap his ass, dude. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell me about it. Fucking, you want to hear about this, bro? Yeah. yeah. Dude. I, Monday morning, dude. What was it? May 25th. 20th it was maybe no may may 23rd i don't know i don't know i don't fuck with dates and shit like that but you're not on that i don't yeah I you exist. don't fuck with I, the calendar we're talking about the fucking roman calendar the church like, made yeah. this calendar you Please, don't follow dude. it I'm a, I'm a you're a mayan calendar I'm a guy <laughs> I'm a pay. it's over now so I'm, I'm, i just ended. stand outside of time <laughs> so i go to jujitsu 7 a.m faithfully dude monday wednesday 7 a.m class I, sh- I even show up a half an hour early don't ask me why dude i just fucking love my practice i go in there usually there's five or six guys just me and another guy who's like basically like you know I'm low man on the totem pole. He's like he's above me, but it's definitely like my competitor in this he's class. He's right there. Yeah, well, yeah, he is. He's he's good. He's got the skills down more. I got a fighter's heart though, dude. Yeah, so he's I'm scrappy. in there. He's just so he's a technician. Scrappy. He is a technician. <laughs> you sure this isn't so, two retards <laughs> wrestling? <laughs> I mean, it could. I mean, that could be all of jujitsu if you really break it down. No, this. No, I'm talking. Dude, you ever watch the Red Belt Masters? So if you if you ascend so high in jiu-jitsu, you transcend black belt and you get to wear a Grandmaster white red belt. I mean, it's so just So just insane. like the guy from Street Fighter. Pretty much, you're Ryu, dude. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> so I go in there and dude, it's just like me. The other I'm not even going to call him my nemesis, dude. This is just my he's in my dojo, dude. And we're just, you know, we were against each other at that point and my sensei, yeah. dude. So there's the teacher this is, the me... the this is the Marlins versus the D-backs, dude. This is a spring training. Yeah, yeah. This, this is a this spring is. training noon Marlins versus very, D-backs. Very much so, dude. So we're going. <laughs> we do the practice and everything, all this stuff. You know, I'm not getting too hung up on the technicality because I just like to let it flow out. You're the me. Marlins, dude. You're all yeah, flash. I, I just, just I'm all flash, dude. Yeah. So flam- I'm, I'm fucking Matt Dem Girl. Dem have, Sugar McCusker, dude. Matt, I'm fucking <laughs> Matt's fighting nickname. What is it? Matt Dem Girl, Dem Sugar McCusker. Matt. Damn girls, damn sugar, McCusker. <laughs> so I go in there, you know, we're, we get to we get to rolling, dude. So we get to do a little one on one match, and like, dude, the sensei is just sitting there, you know, on the pads, folded knees, just chilling, watching us, dude. So I'm like, I'm fucking charged. Seven minutes is on the clock. I'm not gonna bore you with the details, dude. I end up fucking, you know, choking someone out, tapping them out, dude. Tapped them. So ain't nothing. Fucking awesome, dude. To just literally like you're on top of someone. With jiu- like with jitsu, I figured out like you're supposed to. The more of your body you can get towards someone's like either like your limbs and your neck are the point you're trying to defend while also getting to someone else's limb or neck. So like you're trying to isolate a part of their body with your whole body. So I mean I'm I mean I took his back, dude. Yeah, I reversed him. Yeah, he was on top of me. Yeah, I flipped him over. Took his back. That's, and then, that's just what them dude, girl, them sugar does. I, that's dude. what them girl, them sugar. They let you think you're going to win. Then he flips you over, dude. And then, dude, I fucking just clamped down this dude's neck. And I did not have like a clean lock at all. I just used pure brute, dude, and fucking just choked him. <laughs> it took like 20 seconds of just me squeezing. He tapped, dude. And I was just like, oh my God, I did it. What's the name of your choke? What would you name it? Well, it was like I had him in a guillotine. And he got out of that, and then I like I think when he flipped out of the guillotine, you're supposed to roll out of that. I came over, took his back. It was the rear naked, but it was a one arm rear naked. You put your hand on his head and smooth their hair back as you pull. I only had one arm, so I had to hold him down with the other. 
So it was just a pure, it was like a mugging, dude. I mean, I think it was a Dem Girls, Dem Sugar mugging, dude. I just literally had one arm on him and just squeezed and pulled back. And it, it was, it was this ugly. Is, it was is, ugly, hold dude. Hold on, I found, I found my, oh, man. But yeah, I was at jiu-jitsu early this morning with the sensei, dude. Just you were getting, rolling around. Getting my fucking you were ass beaten. rolling around beaten. with some bears. Some yeah, bears getting my on you. It's so funny, too, when, like, when you're doing drills, it's like someone starts laying down, and then you have to, like, mount them. So you're like, all right, you want me to get on top? And then you have to, like, get on top of them and sit on them. The first first week I came back, I didn't wear a cup. I didn't you know, I didn't wear compression shorts or anything. Oh, my fucking dick was just hanging. <laughs> it was just me and this dude. And he, like, the thing was, like, slide your leg under the other person's legs and pull them forward. And, like, there was no way about it. My dick was just rubbing his leg. Your and he dick was, took a pounding. He's like, yo, I'm not going to tell you, bro. He's like, yo, bro, I'm just letting you know. Probably should get a cup, bro. This is kind of weird. And I was like, "Yeah, dude, this kind of sucks." And he's and he was just like, "No, no, I, you know, I keep." He hit me in the nuts like three times. He's like, "You gotta do compression shorts, cup, and then compression shorts over that." Like, he said it was weird. Yeah, he was just kind of like, "Yeah, man." He was just Ew, saying like, "He could definitely feel your dick all over his leg." One hundred percent, this guy can feel my dick, dude. Oh god! And I was, was just like, like, <laughs> this fucking new guy showed up and just rubbed his dick all over me. I know. You know how much how much it must have bothered him for him to actually be well, like. You know this is kind of weird, right? Well, he was just kind of. Oh, he he was like he was saying that like, yo, man, you got to get a cup, and I'm like, yeah, man, this is kind of weird. He's like, yeah, he's like, no, impl- you know, I'm worried about like hurting you and stuff and blah blah. Yeah, blah. but more importantly, your dick's all over yeah, my. Yeah, we're thighs. going we're going forty percent slow. I'm a slow. Gr- I'm bumping and grinding you, dude. It was nasty. And there's girls in the class that like it was, it was time to get up and switch, and I would see them and just be like, they'd be like, I'm I'm, and I'd be like, just beeline away. You'd be like, like, I'm rubbing this dick on dudes only. I'll be kicked the fuck out of here, man. I'm you scared. Get rock hard. I'll be the first jujitsu me too, dude. I'm like, I'm not fucking having that. What belt is that? What the me too belt? <laughs> if, you get, if you get kicked out for rubbing your dick all over people, <laughs> you don't have a belt, dude. <laughs> but no, that was fucking sick, dude. I'm at Balance Studios, dude. You, Catch me at seven a.m. I, w- I wouldn't, yeah, dude. You know, seven a.m. Everybody else is all groggy eyed. You're out rolling, rubbing your dick on dudes. Um, so I got the cup now. Wow. So it was, I realized, too, I'm all balls, dude. I put that cup on. I'm like, it's like fucking trying to keep a frog in a Dixie cup, dude. I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to get it. <laughs> it's tough. So, yeah, I've been, try, I've been trying to fucking manage the toad, dude. <laughs> no, that's been tough, man. But it's awesome, dude. I've been, I've been doing that and Muay Thai. Same thing. You got a girl mm. holding the pads and, like, you can hit it harder. And it's like, dude, I'm going to kick you through the fucking wall. Yeah. It's like, don't tell me this. So I'm like pitter pattering girls. It's fucking, it's fun. It's a blast, dude. Come through. Check me out, dude. No, I'm not going to do that. Come check me. I'm out. not doing that gay shit. It's not gay at all. Jujitsu is the least gay thing you can do. There's nothing. It's like you. That's just, not true. You're breaking through the gayness, dude. You're getting so gay on a guy that it's just like jujitsu's awesome. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, it's awesome. True that. Also, Manti Teo is awesome. True a little that. gay. He Kevin Spacey, true. awesome. A little gay. He's very gay. Jujitsu, awesome. A little gay. Everything awesome is a little gay. That's a trade off. Pretty much, except yeah. Stone Cold. It's nothing gay. coming out in those tighties. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little gay. Stone Cold's pretty sick. I was. Re- I'm doing a. Uh... Did you ever hear the audiobook Fantasy Land? This meal I'm eating is pretty fucking gay. That's a good meal, dude. What's this wrong is a gay man's meal. Why? Shane has yogurt. I have oh, parfait. Dude. You have a yogurt parfait. That's eighty percent gay. That should be the uh, nutrition facts. Instead of like yeah. fat, carbs, it should be like 80% this is, gay. <laughs> this is French vanilla parfait, <laughs> low-fat yogurt, strawberries, <laughs> blueberries, banana, granola. Oh, I haven't even gotten to the banana. Low-fat's gay. Parfait's French word, gay. Dude, last night. last night Bananas are the gayest fruit. Last night at about 1.30, I was eating McDonald's and pizza. I got a fucking, That's a I got a fucking fruit my way out of this morning. <laughs> Why'd you have McDonald's and pizza? Uh, fucking O'Connor came in drunk. And he ordered himself Big Mac, chicken fingers, and a full uh, pizza from a different place. Oh, dude. What's going on with that boy? Yeah, I nibbled a little. I was nibbling. Yeah, you nibbling the crust, dude. Nibble, little mouse. Uh, You're a little mouse I on the couch. The ma- dude, you got to see. It's crazy. When I come out. I, I don't like it. When I come out of jiu-jitsu, I'm in, I'm in Fishtown. When you're coming out of jiu-jitsu, dude, I dude. come out of the, I'm in Fishtown. If you're not from Philadelphia, it's like, it's like the most, it's like a really hipstery area, like, I'm getting crushed for this yogurt, by the way. What, for eating a yogurt parfait? <laughs> I'm getting one million. I got two friends, Jared and Dylan, who are going to murder me. Dude, my dad fucking hates for that shit. eating yogurt. If my dad smells like a French vanilla creamer, he acts like he's retching. He's like, oh, get get that shit away. I can't even smell that. 
like when guys bring coffee and if it's like French vanilla or hazelnut, he's like, Jesus Christ, come on, man, come on, get, get stand over there. I can't smell that shit. Why does he act like that? Because it, it's so gay that it offends him. That guys add like French vanilla to yeah, their yeah, coffee. Yeah. He's, he literally he says it, it nauseates him. I don't have that. No, that's my dad. I'm just, I just get a black coffee, pour in some whole milk. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's a man. That's what I'm saying, but dude. But then I gated it up and got this parfait, dude. <laughs> well, you just wanted some yogurt, dude. A parfait is just yogurt with shit in it. I mean, it's yogurt. I don't know what the fuck the difference Yogurt is. parfait just means yogurt with other stuff inside of it. Yogurt. That's parfait. Plus you get. Yeah, you drop a berry at a time like, ooh, I'm making a parfait. <laughs> my, uh, my mom called me gay recently. Because I have I the jeans I buy now I only buy jeans with like stretch capabilities mm-hmm. and I was like Yo, talking you're rolling about, you're doing jujitsu dude oh, yeah I got if I'm on the street dude, now I if you're on I the street put you got an armbar or exactly I got put you in leg lock. but I, I also just think they're really comfortable so I was uh, showing my mom you know I was like my mom had stretch jeans and I'm like Yo check it out I have them too and I lifted my leg up like to my knee <laughs> like lifted my leg all the way my mom was just my dad was like. <laughs> What the hell? My mom was like, yeah, it's kind of gay, Matt. And I was just like, oh, come on, guys. This is really comfortable. Uh. So you were like, hey, check out these jeans. And you pulled your knee up to like your I was, chest? Yeah, like doing high knees, like lifting my knees up. Like I was, I was standing, but I was just Dude, like going high knees. Everybody around you <laughs> must just constantly be like, what the fuck, dude? My mom's like, like hey, hey, I got stretchy pants too, mom. <laughs> in their living room, high knee in it. We're Holy in, shit. We're in the kitchen. I'm like, check it out. I was like, yeah, it's kind of gay. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. She wasn't even trying to be like me. She, it was just like she had to get it out. She's like, I don't know, man. That's kind of gay. I was mm. like, all right, Mom. Catch you later. And then you skedaddled. This is why I never come back here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You didn't hear about it? Or, what? I'm like still out the, the mics and stuff, so I like hear what, the new comics. Teddy Hansen getting beat up? Yeah. yeah I heard also, I didn't hear about this. So funny. In- what happened exactly? In- oh, what? Hey, I'm Chris Wood. Yeah, this is our guest. Oh, yeah, we have a guest. This is our guest, I'm, Chris uh, Wood. Our comic in Philly knows these guys. Anyway, so fucking, uh, yeah, so Teddy Hansen got his ass beat by, like, a gargoyle. <laughs> just, yeah. like, just, like, a random dude was perched, strangely, <laughs> when he got home to his stoop. And just, like, <laughs> Teddy was like, hey, can I help you? And the guy stood up and fucking just yeah. fucking cracked him. Like, Teddy, his fucking eyes fucked up. Teddy, yeah, came home. I, I presume from like a show or a mic or something and came home and there was just a black dude sitting on his steps <laughs> and he was like, oh, oh hey, uh, <laughs> yeah. can I help you out? And the guy just stood up and fucked him up. Just oh fucked him God. up. Hilarious. Like, it was like two weeks ago. He still got a black eye. Like he couldn't see. How's the guy didn't take anything. It's so funny to think about an old comic, comic getting like beat up by a random black dude and like slowly kind of being a little racist now. Fuck you. Yeah. You know I what I mean? mean? That's going to change you some way. You fucking come home. You're I supposed mean, to be safe. And you just... I, I think that would definitely turn you up a degree. Yeah, he'll be sitting there. He's, he's an alt comic, so he'll probably be like at a Black Lives Matter rally. And then just a part of him will be like, eh, I don't know. I don't know about all this. <laughs> he almost got hit so hard. Like, why are you racist, Teddy? He's like, well, uh, well. One uh, night I was walking uh, home. A uh, uh, guy. It's like, was he a black guy? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, he was. Uh, he punched me in the face. <laughs> He's just a black dude punched him for no reason. It's so funny that he came down on the steps and was just like, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, hilarious. And then walked. I don't think he took anything. I think it was just a... Is this Now, this is all just according to Teddy Hansen. Yeah, but he's doing it as a bit that's unstructured, so he's just telling the actual story. So he's not like in joke form. Yeah, like, I just don't trust someone who's like, some guy kicked my ass for no reason. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? True. I would definitely like to ask him about it. That's a weird story. I I would love to believe some guy was, like you said, perched up on his (laughs) board. Just picked one, like the strangers, dude, just like because you were home. Oh, my God. (laughs) But also, if you're a black dude and you see Teddy Hansen, you're going to want to punch him in the face. That's true. You know you could probably fuck. Teddy's a great dude, too, by the way. He is a great dude. Teddy is actually a lot. He's a great dude. He looks like he's not a great guy. Though I don't see a lot of black people in Philadelphia taking him seriously. You know what I mean? Like if Teddy Teddy would not do well in the hood, is what I'm trying to say. No, he's for the listener. He's got long blonde hair and a and mustache, a, like a blonde Fu Manchu. <laughs> it's like a surfer dude kind of guy. Nah, a little bit. Not like, really. Uh, guy who hangs out of the boardwalk. I don't think he it. could surf though. No, it, yeah, it seems a little, like a, a little. Seems more like a bookie porter. <laughs> yeah. He's carving it up. <laughs> like if I was out somewhere and I knew that uh, like somebody told me somebody's mad he seems me. like a boogie board designer put it that way <laughs> but he's a nice yeah. guy Teddy is but dude, he, he looks like and talks like on stage he talks like a, an alt comic that I would fucking hate yes but then 
you get to know him, and he's not. He's a great dude. He's a nice guy. He's also a Central PA bull. What? Yeah, I think he's like Chambersburg or Gettysburg. Really? Yeah, dude, mm-hmm. he's a good boy. He probably had some. He already had some reservations about black people going into that. <laughs> and then he got his ass. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what happened. Maybe he had a, he had a few too many PBRs at the alt show. Came back and was like, "What are you doing on my porch? <laughs> <laughs> Get down off there! Get off there! What are you doing there?" <laughs> Man. Oh. Yeah, it's funny that he got hit because it's like always the least aggressive guy or the least guys you could picture being violent that get fucked up like in comedy. Dude, how hard like, do you think he screamed when he got punched? <laughs> he was probably full, like, ah! <laughs> no, no, he was probably like, whoa, man. <laughs> yeah, well, he said he couldn't see, so it's like he's fueling his way along parked cars and he's like just getting punched in the face. Like, I understand you're upset. I know. Uh... Systemic, bro. I get it. <laughs> Jesus, that must have sucked. Yeah, so we're here with the. I would have fucked that guy up, man. He would have came down. And I'm like, oh yeah, you would, you gotta do jujitsu. Oh you my got your god, fucking Muay Thai. He's just that's my daydream all day. Uh, of just, it's just, just a random any guy fight. just coming up and just being like, what the fuck? You got so a your daydream is like, just Shh. beating the shit out of a black guy. Any guy, but black guy will do. He, he can get up, he can get in my guard. Yeah, he can get in my guard. Dude. What happens if he gets my guard? My guard doesn't discriminate, bro. My guard will put anyone in. It. Oh, I know. if that was happening to you, you would walk up to those steps differently than Teddy probably did. He probably like, walked up you, the steps, saw a black guy on the steps, <laughs> scratched his head, turned around, was like, no, that's my house, walked back up. <laughs> yeah. You sure I live here? All right. Um, excuse yeah. me, uh, uh, never mind, walked away. Well, like, you would have hit him with like, oh, oh, bro, or something like that, walking up. I would have jumped like, over oh. him. <laughs> and got to my door and been like, fuck you, and just opened up and went inside. He would have two-pieced you. I dude. can't, please, dude, I, I would get, if I get inside, it's over. If you get inside it, yeah. And the if, average if street fighter's close. coming wide, dude. I'm just like, hands to the head, boom. Double underhooks, please, dude. That's scary stuff. I would get please. fucked up. I would get fucked up. You would get fucked Whenever up? Whenever I come home, I'm so tired. Like, oh, you're so, you're so humble on the podcast. I would, I'm just saying, I don't like fighting, and I uh, will be tired. You're more of a lover. Oh, my God. <laughs> Matt, These don't. Come guys. on, Matt. These guys. Uh, 